To maintain a healthy mind and body, one must eat clean and healthy food, balance your diet with the right promotion of essential minerals, exercise regularly, consume lots of fruits and veggies, drink lots of water, sleep early and adequately for 8 hours. Proper 8 hours help stimulates adequate growth. A healthy body stays positive and healthy by eliminating all negativity. A healthy diet and lifestyle keep one positive, fit, and happy. Regularly brushing your teeth twice a day and washing hands before meals will keep you healthy. As soon as Abraham Lincoln was elected president of USA in 1860, southern states like Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana and Texas separated from the Union. They established the Confederate States of America. When the Confederates fired on Fort Sumter, President Lincoln declared blockade of southern ports and the Civil War began in 1861. The president made a proclamation for emancipation of slaves. The war dragged on for four years and in the end the South surrendered. In January 1863, Lincoln abolished slavery. Lincoln not only fought slavery but also fought for the preservation of the Union. The seceding states were treated as rebels. This won the sympathy of foreign powers especially Great Britain. He fought a war to save the Union and banish slavery. Out of almost all photographic genres, wildlife photography took the longest to develop. The first wildlife photograph was taken in 1906 for National Geographic, almost 70 years after the oldest photographic image ever, because it required faster lenses and higher sensitivity of a film that were unavailable until that point. Today, it represents the largest section of nature photography, and it's dedicated to wildlife and capturing animals in their natural habitats, while they are eating fighting or just being. For this type of image making, it is crucial that the photographer gets to know even the smallest details of an animal's behavior and habits, as it is very important not to harm the subject in any way whatsoever. Because both the photographer and the animal could end up in danger during the shooting, or because endangered plant species could be destroyed by reckless image takers, there are certain rules imposed to prevent such situations that everyone involved in nature photography must follow. Every generation is told by the elders that the good old days were the best. But right from the days, after the industrialization and urbanization, rampant imitation or adulteration of everything is heard of more often by the younger people. Whether it is finished goods or eatables, there is some standard stuff everywhere. Established brands of toothpastes, soaps, creams, blades and even medicines have imitations. In milk, spices, edible oils, tea leaves and flour there is adulteration. The result is that people suffer from many diseases and disorders. Even doctors cannot save us, as the medicines and injections are also imitations. Malaria is one of the most common diseases of mankind. 
It is more common in tropical and subtropical countries, especially in Africa and Asia, where millions are infected. It is responsible for the death and reduced resistance in large number of persons every year, the heaviest toll being the children under 4 years of age. Due to WHO and NMEP, National Malaria Eradication Program, of India, the malaria was effectively reduced but partly owing to socio-economic factors and partly because of unexpected proliferation of DDT-resistant mosquitoes and drug-resistant parasites, the attempts to eradicate the infection have failed and the malaria is again on increase. Volcanoes are Earth's geologic architects. They've created more than 80% of our planet's surface, laying the foundation that has allowed life to thrive. Their explosive force crafts mountains as well as craters. Lava rivers spread into bleak landscapes. But as time ticks by, the elements break down these volcanic rocks, liberating nutrients from their stony prisons and creating remarkably fertile soils that have allowed civilizations to flourish. There are volcanoes on every continent even Antarctica. Some 1,500 volcanoes are still considered potentially active around the world today. 161 of those, over 10%, sit within the boundaries of the United States. When students all wear the same clothing every day at school, it levels out the playing field. Any expectations on what to wear are removed and children develop a greater sense of equality. Children of all socio-economic backgrounds begin from the same starting point. Without uniforms, children from poorer backgrounds could feel isolated if their parents are unable to afford the latest styles of clothing. Creating a standard promotes the idea that we are all the same. Children come together from different backgrounds and can immediately identify a fellow member of their team from the clothes that they wear, breeding a sense of cohesion and commonality that is lost when school uniforms are removed. Our smart work and shortcut are similar. To answer in all honesty, no, they are not. Sure, shortcuts can make your work easier but smart work is not equivalent to the modern day finding and ethical shortcuts. Smart workers induce alternatives and easier ways to do things, but that does not necessarily make them lazy or not reliable, it is they are smart enough to find their way through the alternatives and work the better way out. They usually tend to find smoother ways that are not all the time consuming and yet do the trick just the right direction. Or in other words, it can also be said that it requires specific knowledge and practice to execute any work smartly with minimal error. They find more natural refined alternatives, and that makes the job more convenient and simplified to cope with and work on. Insulin is an anabolic, part of metabolism that builds larger molecules, polypeptide hormone and regulates carbohydrate metabolism in animals. It is produced in the pancreas invertebrates, but also is required by invertebrates. 
Apart from being the primary agent in carbohydrate homeostasis, insulin in vertebrates has effects on fat metabolism and it changes the liver's activity in storing or releasing glucose and in processing blood lipids. Insulin helps in the transporting of glucose into skeletal muscle and liver, stimulates skeletal muscle and liver to convert glucose to a storage form called glycogen, stimulates fat cells to synthesize fat, and acts on the hypothalamus to reduce appetite. The amount of insulin in circulation has extremely widespread effects throughout the body. The teddy bear is named after U.S. President Theodore Teddy Roosevelt. In 1902, President Roosevelt participated in a bear hunting trip in Mississippi. While hunting, Roosevelt declared the behavior of the other hunters unsportsmanlike after he refused to kill a bear they had captured. As news of the hunting trip spread, many newspapers around the country featured political cartoons starring Teddy and the bear. Meanwhile, in Brooklyn, New York, a shop owner named Morris Mitchton saw one of the cartoons and had an idea. Mitchton and his wife created plush, stuffed bears and placed them in the front window of their shop. With permission from Roosevelt, Mitchton named the bears Teddy Bears, they were an instant success. Ladies and children carried the bears with them in public. President Roosevelt even used a teddy bear as his mascot when he ran for re-election. Fish and fisheries are an integral part of most societies and make important contributions to economic and social health and well-being in many countries and areas. It has been estimated that approximately 12.5 million people are employed in fishery-related activities, and in recent years global production from capture fisheries has tended to vary between approximately 85 and 90 million tons. The products from these fisheries are used in a wide variety of ways, ranging from subsistence use to international trade as highly sought after and highly valued items. The value of fish traded internationally is approximately 40 billion US dollars per year. Despite this enormous importance and value, or more correctly, because of these attributes, the world's fish resources are suffering the combined effects of heavy exploitation and, in some cases, environmental degradation. Executive teams debate major changes for months before making final decisions, enabling each member to gain a deeper understanding of the effects the change will have on the enterprise. Even if they don't agree with the final decision, they have time to determine whether to accept the new direction or to depart gracefully. Individuals lower in the hierarchy rarely have time to process major changes. Executives do not want employees to worry about events that may never happen until it is clear the change will take place. In addition, tighter insider trading enforcement prohibits executives from sharing information about upcoming mergers, acquisitions, or divestitures. As such, individuals who are not part of the executive team have much less time to prepare for the plan change and may decide to leave while the change is undertaken, making change management more difficult.
Olympic Games, athletic festival that originated in ancient Greece and was revived in the late 19th century. Before the 1970s the Games were officially limited to competitors with amateur status, but in the 1980s many events were open to professional athletes. Currently, the Games are open to all, even the top professional athletes in basketball and football, soccer. The ancient Olympic Games included several of the sports that are now part of the Summer Games program, which at times has included events in as many as 32 different sports. In 1924 the Winter Games were sanctioned for winter sports. The Olympic Games have come to be regarded as the world's foremost sports competition. Biogas is a type of biofuel that is naturally produced from the decomposition of organic waste. When organic matter, such as food scraps and animal waste, break down in an anaerobic environment, an environment absent of oxygen, they release a blend of gases, primarily methane and carbon dioxide. Because this decomposition happens in an anaerobic environment, the process of producing biogas is also known as anaerobic digestion. Anaerobic digestion is a natural form of waste to energy that uses the process of fermentation to break down organic matter. Animal manure, food scraps, wastewater, and sewage are all examples of organic matter that can produce biogas by anaerobic digestion. Due to the high content of methane in biogas, typically 50-75%, biogas is flammable, and therefore produces a deep blue flame, and can be used as an energy source. Home science is the science of the home and it includes all the things that concern the person, home, family members and resources. Home science integrates the application of various sciences and humanities to improve human environment, family nutrition, management of resources and child development. Health education builds students' knowledge, skills and positive attitudes about health. Health education teaches about physical, mental, emotional and social health. It motivates students to improve and maintain their health, prevent disease and reduce risky behaviors. Shylock is one of the best known characters in the entire range of Shakespearean drama. He is also a controversial character. Some critics and readers regard him as a through villain while others believe that, in spite of his villainy, he deserves some sympathy also. It is necessary for us therefore to assess this man's character impartially. He certainly has his hateful traits of character, and he certainly deserves to be called a villain. But we still feel some sympathy for him because, in our opinion, he is not only a WRTFNG doer but also a victim of wrongdoing by others. The Declaration on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination was adopted by the General Assembly in 1963 to combat racism and apartheid in the world with special emphasis in South Africa. It declared that discrimination between human beings on grounds of race, color, ethnic origin was an offense to human dignity, a denial of charter principles, 
a violation of the right proclaimed in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and an obstruction in development of peaceful relations among people. There is a certain percentage of the public who believes that fine art photographs must represent reality. There are people who do not know that there are differences between what they see and what the camera captures. Finally, there are individuals who do not understand that a photograph is a two-dimensional representation of reality and not reality itself because reality is far more complex, perceived by us through five senses and not just one. Some people are willing to change their minds when these things are explained to them. Others have their minds made up and do not want to be bothered by the facts. Summer days can be extremely hot and people usually the elderly suffer from heat strokes, in the past this has resulted in some deaths, during this season children may also suffer from summer boils. Due to the heat people become easily tired as their bodies sweat continuously. Scientists believe that rising summer heat levels is as a result of global warming and predict that if nothing is done, in years to come the temperatures due in future summers may become too hot to play or even survive in. Many birds live in different environments at different times of the year. They migrate between these locations which may be as far as 4006,000 km in each direction. The Arctic Tern covers 22,000 km round trip each year. Many birds can cover hundreds of kilometers in a single flight. Many of them migrate in flocks. It is believed that there is a genetic component to migration since some species migrate without the benefit of someone who has made the trip before. Birds use a variety of different methods to find their way including landmarks, solar cues, star position, and geomagnetic cues. They may even use odors and sounds as a part of their guiding system. Other easy to identify Florida mushrooms include mushrooms from the Bolitaceae family such as the Kingbolitis or Porcini mushroom. As a common edible mushroom, these mushrooms have a mildly nutty taste, grow in the early fall or spring and show up in fir, spruce or pine forests. Tops are medium to large sized with a brownish red, brown or tang cap. Instead of gills on the underside of the cap, Bolitis looks spongy like with small pores that release spores. Young mushrooms have whitish spores which mature to a yellow olive color. They have thick stalks, often with a bulb near the ground that tapers toward the top beneath the cap. A balanced diet is not a fad, yo-yo or crash diet. It's a way of ensuring you eat all of the required nutrients for your body to function properly. A balanced diet will not be the same for everyone. We're all different and often, individuals will require different amounts and types of nutrients. 
What you need will depend on age, gender, lifestyle, health and the rate at which your body works. Eating a balanced diet is key in maintaining good health and keeping your body in optimum condition. A balanced diet doesn't cut out food groups, it consists of a wide variety of foods to support your body and keep you energized, motivated and healthy. It may sound simple, but with so much information available, messages about healthy eating can become unclear. Facts become fads and knowing what's good for you can be misunderstood. Here, we'll provide general information on the foods we need, the importance of staying hydrated and how a nutrition professional can support you. Charcoal is a solid fuel used for heating and cooking that is created through the process of carbonization, which is a process where complex carbon substances, such as wood or other biomass, are broken down through a slow heating process into carbon and other chemical compounds. Generally, the discussion about charcoal is more about the solid fuel used in developing economies rather than the material used in a barbecue in a developed country. Although the use of charcoal can be detrimental to the environment and people's health, Charcoal is generally a better fuel for cooking than wood. Charcoal stoves tend to burn more efficiently and cleaner than wood stoves. This improvement is nice, but access to better fuels would be healthier. However, the production of charcoal is important as it provides some level of income for local people who may not be able to find work in other places. Charcoal is the principal energy source in many poor areas. Since these families don't have a lot of income, Charcoal is often one of the largest parts of a family's budget. As China has progressively opened its economy over the past four decades economic development and living standards have greatly improved. As the government has gradually phased out collectivized agriculture and industry, allowed greater flexibility for market prices, and increased the autonomy of businesses, foreign and domestic trade and investment have taken off. Coupled with an industrial policy that encourages domestic manufacturing, this has made China the world's number one exporter. Despite these advantages, China faces some significant challenges such as a rapidly aging population and severe environmental degradation. Kerosene may enter the water or soil environment as a result of regular use, for example, evaporation of pesticide solvent, from spills during use or transportation, or from leaking storage facilities. The relatively low vapor pressure of kerosene makes inhalation exposure unlikely under ordinary occupational conditions unless conditions of poor ventilation exist. The combustion product of burned kerosene, carbon monoxide, is of real concern when kerosene heaters are not vented. Exposure to kerosene mist can occur as kerosene is often applied in the form of a spray. Eye and skin contact with kerosene and kerosene mists and vapors can occur. The exposure pathway usually of most concern is ingestion because this is the most common means of acute poisoning, especially in children.